that's, that's, that's fornicating. We got Christians out there that's lying. We got Christians out there that's stealing. We got Christians out there committing the same sin that non-Christians are committing. And they don't have to. But because they're making because they've made it a practice, they've now become a slave to it. And what happens is you can get so far into that till you start justifying what you're doing. You really in trouble. Now your mind is really going in a in a, in a bad direction when you start calling good bad. Mm -hmm. That's that's not a good sign. Because I've I've met Christians, seniors and young folks, that justify Stand together as husband and wife, but not husband and wife. Well, they're not husband and wife. And they justify. Seniors say, well, if we get married, they're going to take our check. One of our checks. Well, that shows me that you're not trusting God. So you'd rather practice a lifestyle of sin, disobey God, than to trust Him. You see what I'm saying? So you put more, so what you're saying, God, my check that I get each month is more important to me than you. And I'm not saying, you know, I don't never tell a person they don't love God. But I will say that I get this from my wife. They love what they're doing more than God. That's right. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? I'm not going to tell you you don't love God, but you love what you're doing more than God because if you love God more than you wouldn't be doing it. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's why he says that we're to put him above everything else. Mm -hmm. In Luke, I think it's Luke uh, 12, 14 or 12, I think it's Luke, Luke 12, I believe it is. Over there where he talks about he wants you to hate your mother and hate your wife. Yeah. He used the word hate. Well, that word hate comes from a Greek word that means to love less than. We're to love everybody else less than him. Why? Because anyone and anything that you love more than God, you will compromise God's word for them or that thing. Are you hearing what I'm saying? See, that's why as believers, we have to constantly walk in the Spirit. Mm -hmm. This is how we overcome those situations. We all have tempting situations. We all have circumstances that produces temptations to do something sinful. Mm -hmm. Especially with money. You can lie and get some money. I had a, a company years ago try to lie for me so that they can loan me some money. The name of the company was Integrity. I didn't want to say it. Integrity. That was the name of the company. But then I, I, I went for a loan. What a name. And, uh, and, 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 and I didn't have enough income coming in, so they, they was going to create a, a fictitious job for me. Oh, my. I said, no, I can't do that. I, I said, no, I can't do that because I live by certain principles, mm -hmm. right? And because I made a choice, I had a choice. Now, the money that they was offering me, boy, it was, ooh, geez, it was tempting, and I needed it right then. <laughs> but my love for God had grown, thank God. And I told him no. And God, probably a couple weeks later, whatever, a couple days later, God blessed my wife and I with even more. But I also was told about this couple that did get in, maybe not to the same company, but did something like that, and they got them for fraud. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They got them for fraud. Mm -hmm. see, see, the enemy was trying to set us up. See, like Willie said, he'll take you far and you want to go, make you pay more than want you than you want to pay, and keep you yeah. longer than you want to stay. That's right. <laughs> he was trying to get right. me out there, and, and then once he got me out there, if I had a gave into it, he, he would have abandoned me and left me right out there. Uh -huh. <laughs> I had a prison ministry. <laughs> so we have to, you understand? That's why we have to stay, stay uh, in agreement with the word. Uh, listen to the Holy Spirit. That's why we encourage people to pray. Have a prayer life. Don't just pray when you come in church. Because what that's showing is that you, you, God is not your audience. When you only pray at, at church, God is not your audience. You pray so that the people can see you pray. See, when God is your audience, you have this prayer time at home where it's just you and Him. That's right. You need that. You also need to read His Word. Yeah. You need, you need that time. You need to read His Word. You need to pray. And you need to come to church and have the Word explained to you. Yeah. That's, right. That's the purpose of coming. That's the purpose of the five-fold ministry. The uh, evangelist, the apostle, the teacher, the preacher, and what's the name? Pastor. Pastor. The purpose of those 
is to is for the perfecting of the saints so that they can do the work of the ministry. That's right. And it also says so that they're not tossed with every wind and doctrine. Mm -hmm. That's right. So you got Christians out there jumping from Jehovah's Witnessing, uh, Muslim, and doing all this. Why? Because they're not founded, founded in the Word. And, and, and it's not God because He's definitely trying to direct us through His Spirit to do the right thing. Okay. People say, well, I don't hear from God. He doesn't speak to me. I don't feel His presence. If you're living by your feelings, then you're in trouble. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Brother Chuck did the teaching on if you feel yeah, lead, lead, you know how they put the lead in the pocket. I've never heard that before. <laughs> put the lead in the pocket so that you feel it. That's <laughs> <laughs> so funny to me. Well, you feel lead. <laughs> so you feel lead. <laughs> well, you hear people say that all the time. I didn't feel lead. You've got to get away from your feelings. That's right. Many a time, I've been in the presence and praying, and praying in the presence of God, and I didn't feel it. But I knew he was there. Why did I know he was there? Because he did. Yeah. Yeah. See, we have to see. We, for some reason, we're getting away from believing the word, and we're allowing our feelings to dictate to us. That's why we hold resentment and grudges against people because you don't feel like forgiving them. Mm -hmm. 